Hey guys, Bryant here for Directus. And in this video, I'm gonna give you like a behind the scenes demo of the Directus Content MCP. Uh, can't stress this enough, we just wrapped our MCP event. Uh, same shirt, same, same hat, all that. Um, this is not scripted. I've not practiced any of this stuff. Um, you know, so many of the AI demos and tools that I see are these polished scripted videos that have been practiced to the gills and it's, hey, here's what you could do with the tools. Look at this. You can potentially do this. I'm going to show you something that you could do right now with the Directus Content MCP and go. Okay. So, uh, we have a platform called Directus TV where we... I uh, have a, a different series of shows on all sorts of different topics inside Directus, like translations or mapping or authentication or theming, if you're into that. Don't know who that guy is. But um, we put all the recordings of our workshops into uh, something called Enter the Workshop. Uh, but this Directus MCP, we've got seven or eight videos. We're going to create a new series. So this is behind the scenes. This is our actual instance. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to go in. Just going to log into my account, create a token. Cool. I'm going to hop over to my MCP server setup, and I'm going to plug in the TV URL. Hopefully I blur this out. And I'm going to take my token. So I'm just going to paste that here quickly move that off screen. Obviously gonna have to roll that one after this video. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna restart Claude desktop. Awesome. All right, um, and can you check my Directus schema for me? Now I'll be super happy when Claude desktop supports uh, like a voice mode or something. Uh, but let's see what we've got here. So it's loading our system prompt. Cool. Uh, let me examine your direct to schema. Sending a request. Uh, appears to be a content management platform for a TV video platform with episodes. Awesome. All right. So now, like, how to go about this, right? Here's our organization structure. We have a show. Each show has seasons. And within each season, there are episodes. So... I'm just going to try to do this in the most lazy possible way. How can I copy all these names of the videos? Uh, Directus NCP. I want to create a new show for the Directus NCP server. Um, please. Create the show, and I'll send you the links to the videos. So there are, our videos are hosted at Vimeo, and if we take a look at the actual structure, and you could get this exact same setup inside Directus Plus, um, but you can see here's the structure. We've got uh, a season, there's an episode number, there's a slug, there's a title, there's a Vimeo ID. Uh, and that's how we store this. Uh, and then we have episode people and lots of kind of complex relationships. There's also flows that are set up to generate transcripts. So uh, Vimeo videos. All right, so I'll just give it more context here. We're gonna say, hey, here's the ones I have. I have uh, Claude desktop, MCP, installation, cursor, installation, uh, Raycast, installation, what do we have? We have a blog post workflow, workflow, real life AI content workflows, workshop, and what landing page workflow and what's the last one organize assets 
All right, so I don't know how well this is gonna do. Um, I'll just copy and paste the videos, link. That's Claude desktop installation. This is cursor MCP installation, Raycast installation, blog post workflow, landing page workflow. Uh, and if I had to do this a lot, I would obviously try to optimize this even further. Uh, landing page workflow, real life content workflows. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'm not telling it anything about the structure, right? It's already picked up the schema. Uh, and let's give it some more context. Here's the docs for the MCP server for additional context. All right, so I'm gonna just go here to directus.io slash docs. And there's like a, a lot of descriptions and, and things like that that go into this. Uh, I'm just gonna paste these docs tools, prompts. Workflows. All right, so that's all the docs that I've got. Um, I'm just gonna trust and, and fire this off that in the episodes that this is actually gonna work out based on info below. Now look, I'm again, not a prompt genius. This is all stuff that you can do right now. Um, and if you learn a little bit about prompting more than me, you will get even further than this. So let's just see what happens. Uh, it is going to create the show for me. There's the description. This is going to be published. It is a AI power content management with Directus and MCP. All right, so now it's creating a new season for that specific show. Looks like it is creating the individual episodes. All right, so now if I go in here, we search for MCP, right? I can see this, there's the card text, published, status, images. So we, we need some images, I don't have to generate those uh, outside of this workflow. But if I go in, we look at the season, I can see that it's starting to populate the episodes for me. And is it done? Let's create the workflow episodes. I don't know if it's actually done or not. All right, organize assets. The workshop episode, organize assets, workflow. I'll just save and update that. So again, hey, like on this workshop, we covered this collaboration model where, you know, hey, I'm actually working alongside this. And I, I think this is a great, just a great showcase of that, right? This is the MCP server. Now all I need to do is basically just test this out. Right, I've got the show, I've got the season for the show, I've got the episodes for the show, and all the descriptions are there. Uh, it looks like it's missing the episode people. So can you add, what am I set up as? Is there Brian in here? There's also Bri Ross, I don't, I don't know who that guy is. Can you add Brian Gillespie to the episode people? for all the episodes and add Matt Miner for the last one, the workshop. All right, so this is you know a fairly complex relationship. Like this is a many to many relationship. And Okay, it should, so it's going to go in and query all the TV people to see if they exist. Then it's gonna go into 
add Brian Gillespie to all seven episodes and Matt Miner to the workshop episode. Now, again, this wouldn't be terribly difficult. I could go in and do this manually. But again, let's take advantage of the AI where we can. I'll just hit refresh. We'll see what it's coming up with. Okay, so it's got the first one. Second one is good. Is it done with the episodes people for Ed Miner, Matt Miner to the workshop episode? Added all the people to the episodes. All right, right. So Matt Miner, Brian Gillespie, there's the workshop. All I need are the images, and we're not going to generate those via. Um, via this workflow. Now, what I also am going to do here, right? Now, normally what I would have to do is go through each individual episode. So if I look for show contains MCP, uh, that's gonna be case specific. So I would have to go in and generate the transcripts for these, but can you generate transcripts for all those episodes using flows. Let's see what this comes up with. And again, look, I've this is my first time doing this. Uh, I've not practiced this at all. We'll see what's gonna happen. There's a generate transcript flow that's designed to fetch Vimeo files and send them to DeepGram for transcription. This is exactly what we need. Uh, so it's gonna go through and call these flows. So now if I like go through and I look at the generate transcript, I can see that this has been triggered for that, uh, for that episode. It's gonna continue with the rest of the episodes and um, that's a wrap, right? So what I'm able to do here is just take a, a literal ton of busy work out of the equation for me and now all I gotta do is hop in Figma, design some images for this, and I could publish seven videos in record time. Uh, so that's it for this video. I guess this will be the eighth video that we upload to this MCP. Um, but I can't wait to see what you guys build with this. Please share your feedback, uh, send us questions, comments, ideas that you have for uh, Direct to Send AI. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.